mechanical keyboards. Now this is a hobby that some people take it super super seriously and I don't. <laughs> So the keyboards that I'm going to show today is a pre-built keyboard. If you're interested in watching people building their own keyboard, I highly recommend you to check out the other YouTubers. So the keyboard that you are seeing right here is a Tofu 60%, you know, happy hacking keyboard layout. If you're new to my channel, this is the Zillia Switches. So I'm gonna keep this keyboard away. We're gonna take a look at this boy right here. The box you see right here, the one that I'm touching, this is a GMK Metaverse, which is based on Persona 5. I think it's a pretty anime keycaps, plus I really, really love the black and white combo. It's just so monochrome aesthetic, you know. I like this kind of simple color and stuff, but yeah. Then I bought myself GMK black on white, white on black. You know, the extension kit. I think they look fine as hell. These are unopened by the way, these are brand new. I bought it from the aftermarket, so they cost quite a lot. This cost me $100 with the shipping included. Bro, I swear shipping from US to Japan is really expensive. I usually have to spend like 30 to 40 USD just for the shipping alone. That is insane. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like 30 to 40 dollars shipping fees, they are quite expensive. And finally, this is the board that you've probably seen it in the thumbnail, which I haven't seen it because that's the future me. Damn! So this is the board itself. Oh, so let's start off by taking a look at this picture. This is a picture that I got. Kinda cute, not gonna lie. He blurred out the Reddit message that he mentioned, PM, picture of him using the loop. So he helped me loop the switches, which is really nice. And the RAM holding the keyboard. <laughs> let's just dive straight into it, man. Let's just dive straight into it. I'm really excited. I've been waiting this for weeks. This board is not a joke, dude. This looks so nice. Moment of truth. This guy ain't playing with me bro. This guy ain't playing with me. Yo, I see the loops man. Brother got the loops all over it. Loop switches are something else dude. That's all I can say. Yo! I gotta turn off my lights to see this. Brother. What's this? Now we're gonna slap on some keycaps on top of it. Let's do it man, let's do it. Nice! These are so sexy, man. Bro, I like the fact that it has RGB glow. It's such a useless feature, but when you have it, you, you really appreciate it, you know? A few inches later. So this is the layer that you can remove. And I really want to try out the black, the matte black. This is actually kind of like matte black. You know? I think I just nutted. I've been using tactile switches for so long that I almost forgot how good linear switches are. Bro, this looks so beautiful, man. Now we have to flash the QMK into the keyboard, so... All we have to do is take off the board out. We're trying to reach for the PCB. Also, I've been watching Psycho Pass 2 lately. The show is so weird now. I mean, Psycho Pass 1 is pretty okay. Not the best anime I've seen, but... It's pretty good. So this is the Wonderland PCB, and at the back of the keyboard, there's this small button right here that you can see bro for some reason the left B just doesn't want to work the right B works fine though but the left B is nope Alright, so before we get straight into the gameplay video, this is the final set that I decided to go with under glow lightning to match my mouse and 
the mods. So it matched the Persona 5 theme better. And I want to give a shout out to Josh from Cruise Cable. But basically, he sent me these really, really awesome cables. If you guys are interested, be sure to check him out. I think they look pretty amazing. There's a lot of type of USB. It really depends if you need a Type-C USB. They have it as well, just like the keyboard, which is using the Type-C. So yeah, I really like the cable colors and it's just a lot of customization you can do. So he also sent me this, which is really kawaii. <laughs> Bro, Sylveon is just too cute for me. Too cute. This is too cute. Alright, so before we get into the typing test, I actually got a PX keyboard switch gap film. So basically you open up the switch with a switch opener and you put the gap film in between of them. Like right here, you can see it. The difference is actually kind of huge with the film. Without. With. This is a letter B right here, as you guys can see on the screen. This is a letter B along with this. So I have two B. Yeah, I'm just gonna try it. Let's, let's just see. I hope with time, I can get used to this layout because I really like this. I really like this board. Yeah, I noticed I use my right finger to press G and T a lot. Sixty-nine WPM. This layout is kind of fun, to be honest. It gives such a weird. Oh, I use my left index finger to press Y as well. So this is definitely something I need to adjust. And now let's just get straight into the gameplay and game test in general. New keyboard means new Osu test. Because, I, I don't know man, I feel like also is the easiest to test a keyboard. Alright, let's start off with some nice English song bro. I'm gonna do a sound test right now for you guys, so here's what it sounds like without a song. I think I got an A rank. Yeah. Honestly? What, B rank? Okay, fine. Fine, I think a B emoji. First impression, it feels slightly heavier than Zillio switches. It's definitely a really different feeling since Zillio is a tactile switch and this is a linear switch. So it feels way different.
If you guys like this video, make sure to drop a like, comment down below. What do you think about this keyboard? Do you like this layout? Is it weird? What do you guys think? A lot of options you can do with it, to be honest. Super fast lollipops. Just... <laughs> I need to stop, man. I need to stop. Alright guys, thanks for watching. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you are still new to the channel. See you guys in the next video.